Hey guys, it's Ryan with Fluid Health bringing you another episode of Science Powered Fitness and today we're going to talk about gluconeogenesis and lipolysis. Those are fancy words. And, but really what it has to do with is the frustration that you're having with weight loss. So if you want to know the origin of why you're not losing weight or why you could be struggling with losing weight, well, tune in because today is really about uh, how your body optimizes the release of fatty acids. So first, let's take the root word, gluconeogenesis. Gluco is the sugars. Neo means new or creation. Genesis, creation of. So gluconeogenesis, creation of new sugars. So in the body, you can produce glucose. You can do that through the breakdown of fatty acids and amino acids and lactic acid to make a sugar that the body will use for its energy needs for sugar burning if it can't get it from an exogenous form like a, a carbohydrate. Now that's cool, right? So your body can make the needs or the sugars that you need in order to produce energy. We do this for high um, stress situations when you're under a fight or flight, your body has to get instant energy reserves. It's gonna break down sugars. It's gonna try to use those sugars for energy. And then the body needs to replace those sugars and it does that through either a ballast of food, postprandial absorption of nutrition into your gut and absorbs those carbs, converts it to a sugar and your body uses it. Okay, and if it doesn't have that, well, well, it breaks it down from those internal sources. Now the idea here is that when it's breaking these systems down, it normally releases a cascade of hormones that also trigger a process called lipolysis. The root word meaning lip or lipid, fat, and then lysis means breaking down or degradation. Okay, so it's again the fat breakdown. So essentially when your body goes into a fight or flight response, you dump stress hormone into the bloodstream and that's going to reserve up your blood glucose levels. Your body's going to release insulin. Insulin's going to absorb those sugars into the cells. And then when the energy balance goes low and the insulin levels are not there anymore, the body's going to release another hormone called glucagon. Okay, this is important. Glucagon is what tells the body that it needs to find some way of making sugar or using fatty acids. So it's the balance of blood sugar that dictates the insulin response that then determines if you're really gonna be tapping those fatty acids. Now again, if you're always in a fight or flight state so that your body's always in a perpetual, gotta get instant reserves of energy, means the sugars are always a bit elevated and it means that your body's insulin is always present so you're not releasing glucagon and again, this is the, the catalyst that helps us to break down fatty acids. So whether you're under too much stress from psychosocial or exercise, or you consume too much carbohydrate because you love the starches, this guy loves the starches, right? But the idea here is that you're always promoting insulin. And the problem with it is that the cells become resistant to insulin, so they don't absorb the sugars anymore. So the blood sugars are always a bit elevated and your body is always trying to use sugar for energy and it makes it very hard for you to tap into your fatty acids and release those fats from your stored fat storages and triglyceride into the bloodstream. So again, we have to increase the insulin sensitivity and again, manage the amount of stress that we put on our body. So again, sometimes overtraining can keep you from losing weight. What? You can't exercise off fat sometimes. That's a, that's a hard, hard uh, lesson to learn or a pill to swallow. So, Remember guys, there's more to it than just cutting calories and exercising more. There's a balance and that's called homeostasis and your body's always trying to find it to keep you healthy and stable first before it worries about your waistline. So if you need more information on this and you want some detailed information on how you can optimize these processes, gluconeogenesis and lipolysis, reach out, we'd love to help you. Again, the body is designed to move so you wanna stay in motion but make sure that the motion that you're using is accurate and efficient and healthy. And remember, support it with the right nutritional choices. Once again, Ryan with Fluid Health and Fitness. Stay in motion. We'll see you soon.